Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my November favorites. I don't know why I always tend to dance whenever it's the end of the month, but it is. It is December. I am so happy because um, as you guys, if you guys are watching this on Friday itself, on Saturday I will be going to New York City. Woo! Um, if you're new to my channel, every year Mr. Man and I go on once a year to New York City to Manhattan. We take advantage since we live so close to it. Why not? People travel from miles and miles just to visit the city. So we've been doing this for over 10 years together. And this year it fell again that we're going back during the holiday season, which we absolutely love. I'm so happy because they just lit the tree up on the second. So the tree will be up at Rockefeller Center and we're going to be total tourists. And I am so thrilled for it because it's just a me and Mr. Man day for the whole day. I love it. I love it. So speaking of that, if you are not following me on Snappy Chappy, you should definitely follow me there because I will be snapping my whole entire travel to Manhattan. So if you want to see what the city actually looks like during the holidays, obviously you've seen them probably in movies and other people's videos, but if you want to see it live as I am watching it, just follow me on Snapchat. It's One Beauty Addict on all of my social media, so don't forget to follow me on there. So let's get into my November favorites before this gets very, very long. So can I just point out that this whole month, lipstick has not been my BFF. How many videos have I had freaking lipstick on my teeth? Ah has been driving me crazy. So I am like paranoid right now, just staring at my teeth to make sure I don't get any lipstick. And no, I do not have a red lip this time because I knew I was gonna get red lipstick on my teeth again. So don't mind me if you keep seeing me look down because I am not about to have lipstick again on my teeth. So let's get on to my favorites. The first thing I do want to mention to you guys, I do have a dud and I don't, I didn't know what other, where other, what other video to put it in. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to put it in my favorites since I don't do my Sunday loves and duds anymore. I will eventually get back to them. It's just, I need to get on a schedule and it's so hard right now still with the baby. So it's going to take me a very long time to get back to those, but I want to show you a dud. This is the Essence I Heart Stage primer now i have tried this for so long thinking well maybe it doesn't work in the summer springtime humid time humid climate so i figured i'd wait till the winter time to try this and it still is not a good primer if you have very oily lids don't use this it's nice because it has a doe foot applicator on it and it is color it has like a tint to it so it does make all the veining and everything just everything it evens out everything but I use this alone and it creases no matter what type of eyeshadow I use. I see the crease within a few hours. Even to the fact, even to the point where I see fading in the inner corner of my eyes. I have also put my, a color tattoo, which is, this is the one I'm currently using right now. I put this right on top of it and it still creases. Uh, it doesn't matter what I do to it. I set it. I don't set it. I use it alone. I use it with other things. And I have proven time and time again, I'm thinking it's the eyeshadows I'm using. No, it's this. If you have oily lids, stay away from this. I, it's very inexpensive. It's like three bucks. So I'm not too sad to, to throw it out because I'm not going to use it. I've used it so long and nobody's going to take this from you. So this is going to the trash right after this video, but I would not recommend this at all. Now on to my favorites. The first thing I have is this. This is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. This is in the color medium. I purchased the light and it does work, but I feel like the medium's a little bit better for me. I have um, used this since I purchased it. This is a recommendation from Nicole Guerrero. And let me tell you, this really is great for the under eyes. I do have the erase paste. I do have the pixie one, but I feel like they may be a little bit too light for me and I needed something darker. I may mix, I might buy the darkest one and then mix those just to use those up because I feel so bad that they are just sitting there but this works so great I'm wearing this under my under eyes I did a get ready with me with this look so if you're curious about this eye look trust me I did a get ready with me so you guys can see this happening because I know you guys requested this going on so don't you worry I got you but I use this in the video and you can see the difference 
this works great it doesn't crease what how I use it is I grab my ring finger I roll it in there and then I pat it under my eyes first where I need it I don't use a beauty blender I don't use a brush use your finger to warm it up and then I go in with a concealer and my miracle sponge is what I use that way it stays on there I'm not shuffling it everywhere I'm not wiping it away and it works great this does last on me I don't see it creasing now with that said I have not used it during the summer this is a recent purchase of mine but I'm going to use it because I need it we all know with a child if you have children or pets that are babies you know even husbands or significant others that snore you got those dark bags under your eyes this does really work i really do love it and that is so inexpensive i would highly recommend that one and it does come in four different colors i think it comes in fair light medium and deep so i am going to go get the deep because i do have the light kind of mix those two together to kind of use those up so the next thing i have is a re visit to it oh, what is it i fell back in love with it and this is my josie marion argan oil argan oil argan illuminator i have been mixing this actually not even mixing what I do which you'll see in that get ready with me is every fall and winter I kind of lose my glow not too much because I'm still oily but I'm only oily around my nose area but my glow around my face like I do in the summertime where I get that really nice glow where I need extremely mattifying stuff this just gives me that glow back on my face what I do is I put my primer on and then I put this on top of it like if it was a primer the only areas that I do avoid are my nose because this is where I still get oily and even in the dead of winter this gets all shiny like Rudolph so I put it all over my face and this is what I have all over my face under my foundation I do use a mattifying foundation because I still need that even in the in the winter time I still need a mattifying foundation I'm so oily but this isn't bad for me to use all over my face in the winter when it is 50 below if it's above that this is gonna look like oily mess on you if you're very oily but I do love it it doesn't break me out it doesn't have a funky scent I do use a pump and a half and this has lasted me so long but I do love it it's not it's not a very harsh glow on your face like the opal liquid one this is more subtle and I do like that so I have been loving this all month long and I'm going to continue to use it until the springtime when it starts to get humid again on to glowingness these are the two highlighters I've been reaching for the most and it's probably you're probably going to be shocked because I bought a new highlighter but I feel like the highlighter is a little bit more for the spring summertime which is the oh darling I do like it but I feel like it's a little bit too much for me right now now that I'm becoming pasty the first one that I have here is the mac likes likes it likes capade oh my gosh why is that so hard for me to say so this is mac likes a likes whatever you know what it's called so this is what it looks like and I've been using this all month long and I love to use this in the winter time. It's definitely a cooler toned highlighter but it looks so pretty and this is something that I can wear to work and I'm not like looking extremely shiny and glowy even though I, I just still do it. But for those days that I really don't want to do too much, this is something that I absolutely love reaching for my veining doesn't have too much blue so I actually have a perfect medium I really do like this this is something that it's it's not powdery it's not glittery it's really nice I would even recommend this for mature skin because look at that it's a beautiful glow but there is no glitter no shimmer to it it's really really nice I do like this a lot The next highlighter, 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 highlighter. The next highlighter that I have is from Cover FX, and you guys have seen me talk about this. This is Moonlight. There are two of them. I own both of them, but this is the one I reach for this time of year. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. This is such a beautiful highlight not powdery by any means see how beautiful they look very similar this one I feel like is a little bit more glowy but this is beautiful that is this is not powdery it is not 
it doesn't have the same texture as becca sometimes the becca ones i feel like are way too powdery but this is so good cover effects is such an underrated company i absolutely love their highlighters this is a definite recommend again this is one that doesn't have glitter this is something that i can see that if you want a little bit more of a glow but don't want that shimmer or glitter this is your bff right here sunlight is another amazing beautiful one i use that one in the spring summertime where i have more of a tan this is the one i grab more for in the winter time absolutely love it very very pretty i love the fact that it brings a mirror too and the packaging is really nice and sleek so i do love these so those are the two highlighters i have been reaching for this whole entire month and i don't want to let them go i'm gonna probably continue to use those they go with this. a blush palette this is no surprise the sephora ombre obsession again i am wearing this on my cheeks i between this one and this one I have not reached for any other blush, which is killing me because I really, really should. I have so many blushes, but this is a favorite from last month. I'm still using it. It is still sitting here on my vanity. I love that palette. I don't even know if it's still available, but this one is another one that I am just obsessed with. I love the pigmentation. I love the payoff. I love the color variation of these. This is a beautiful highlighter. This is not a subtle highlight by any means, but it's a beautiful inner corner highlight, beautiful eyeshadow, and brow bone highlight. So you can use that multiple ways. I love the variation, again, of the shades of the finishes. Nothing is here that I can say is so shimmery that it's going to accentuate your pores, accentuate fine lines, accentuate any scarring you may have because I personally do have scarring on my face from stitches and I hate when I put on things on my cheeks and you could really see it but with these I don't feel like you can. It is beautiful. The only color really that I haven't used is this bright fuchsia color. Other than that, I have used all of these. This one is gorgeous. It's like a purple mauve. I would have never bought that on my own. Never gravitated towards it. So I'm happy that I have it. Today I'm wearing this one right here, which is a nice neutral everyday color. It goes with everything. I love the mirror. It is a little bit big, but I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. This sits has been sitting on my vanity since I purchased it and it has not left and both of those blush palettes will probably sit here for a very long time on to my last two favorites and this is going to be a shocker because I rarely rarely have any lip products in my favorites and oh my goodness a few of you have a rec or have asked me to do my top 20 lipsticks of all time, which I'm still working on. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. I know. I know. I'm working on it. And also my top 20 drugstore favorites of all time. I'm still working on that too. I just don't want to give you guys crap. I really want to give you things that I absolutely would recommend. And these might make my 20 top 20 of all time. Like seriously, these are amazing. Oh. <gasps> The, the two that I have been, just this whole line in general, I've been wearing, whenever I reach for liquid lipstick, I have been torn between my Kat Von D and these. And these this month have, have been winning. I wore Bury Me, which I absolutely love. And these two, obviously, are no surprise. And I'm sad to actually um, show you guys these because these are sold out on the website because I'm so obsessed I ordered two more. I ordered Merlot and Bear With Me, so those should be coming soon. But these two are the ones I am talking of, Stone and Truffle. Now, I'll tell you that I feel that I personally love Stone more because it's more of a warm tone one, which is right here. This is the one that I love more. This is Truffle. Stone is more cool toned for me, so it kind of makes my teeth look yellow, but but to make it work i did this on snapchat and i showed you guys i put these two together on my lips oh, mixing these two are so beautiful and then because it's been cold and my lips have been a little bit dry i've been putting in the center sophia this is a buxom lip gloss in sophia i just dab this right in the center of my lips and i cannot stop staring at myself in the mirror 
It is so beautiful. And you guys that have been following me for a very long time know that I am all about the bold lip. I am not about the nude lip. I, I rarely go for a nude lip and this has been my third child. This has been so, so much used. I love this combination. Try it. If you feel that stone is too cool tone for you or it does make your teeth look yellow like for me, I've mixed these two and then put this in the center and it makes my lips look so juicy and so plump and it lasts all day. I actually wore this combo for Thanksgiving and I ate like a mofo and it did not go anywhere on my face and it stayed put to the point where I had to get a makeup makeup wipe to wipe it off my lips because it just stayed on so well. I love this formula. This is one of the most comfortable formula I have ever tried and I have a lot of liquid lipsticks. It's right up there with my Kat Von D. It's right up there with my Sephora ones. It's right up there. I love these. This, when it goes back in stock, you need one or the other because they're gorgeous. Or even just try one. Just try one of the formula, one of these liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors. You will not be disappointed. I, I don't know why I waited so long, but they are amazing. And I'm not a lipstick junkie by any means, and they are amazing. All right, so my last my last lip product is another liquid lipstick. This is again up there. I can guarantee you this is going to be in my top 20. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stains and obviously this is in the color number 13, Marvelous Mauve. Oh my goodness, this is another one. I am obsessed. Can you guys see this trend right here? Like, what is going on? I am cheating on my bright lips this month. I have been cheating on them. This color is amazing. The formula is so awesome. I have worn this quite a few times to work, and it stayed on all day. Super comfortable. I don't get the rim around my lips with either of these two liquid lipsticks. They have been extremely comfortable, even with the cold weather. It's amazing, and I love the moussey texture of these. I showed this in a haul and I told you guys how much I've wanted to get this one and I finally got Fig and everyone, I, I, I don't even know how many of you guys have commented, you need to get Always Red, Alex. Always Red. Always Red. You need to get Always Red. I finally got it. You guys kept telling me to get it. So, and bold lips are my jam. Always Red is now in my collection. Oh, I got it. So I think I'm going to wear this one in a tutorial. But if you have not tried this formula, this is so inexpensive. $13. I believe these are $18. These are $13. These are so worth the money. Completely worth the money. Right now, if you have that $20 off of $50, $15 off of $50, $25 off of $50, at least put one of these in your cart. You will not regret it. These are amazing. I love them. I love this. Is there any other colors I should get? Because I'm all about that lip color. Oh, I love this formula. So those are my favorites for the month of December. I will list it down in the description box as I always do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat because tomorrow I will be in New York City. Woo -woo. I am so, 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 so excited. You may not see me with makeup because it's serious traveling and... I'm going to be exhausted and I don't, the last thing I want to do is worry about taking off my makeup. So I don't know if I'm going to wear makeup. But anyway, so don't be scared. Don't be scared if you don't see me all dolled up. Don't be scared because I'm not there to be impressing anyone anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you did like it. I will catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear.